Welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. Today, we're going to take this dirty penny and make it look like new. You need a cup, a dirty penny, a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth cup of vinegar. So you're going to combine the vinegar and salt in the cup. You're going to drop, drop the dirty penny into the cup and allow it to sit for about five minutes. When you pull the penny out of the cup, you will find the old dirty penny has been transformed into a clean, shiny penny. This shiny new penny represents the new Jerusalem, which is also called the new earth. It is a place that God has repaired for us as a home for his believers after the end times. In this place, there is no need for a temple because God and Jesus will be living right alongside with us. Isn't that wonderful? And we will spend eternity with God. Today's lesson describes a new city where God's true believers can enter. I'm Sister Ladon, and let us pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to come together today to just learn about the new city that you have prepared for us as your believers to spend eternity with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's lesson scripture is based on Revelation chapter 21, verses nine through 27. The lesson begins with an angel taking John to a mountaintop that overlooks the holy city of Jerusalem coming down from heaven. John was able to see and describe the city in detail. He describes every type of stone and jewel used to make up the city and its foundation and walls. He says that there is no night. He also says no unclean person who lies or does shameful things will ever be able to go into the city, let's live there. Only those listed in the book of life will be able to enter. The new Jerusalem is a gift where all believers can spend eternity. That brings us to this week's challenge. Think about a time you visited a large city or even downtown Chicago. What stood out the most to you? As you heard the description of New Jerusalem, what was the most amazing thing that stood out to you? Spend some time today thinking about what God is preparing for us who believe in Jesus and take a few minutes to write down how you would share the good news about Jesus to others. If you desire prayer or would like to be baptized, please call the Apostolic Faith Church at 773-373-8500. That brings us to the end of this week's lesson. Stay tuned for next week's lesson, which is about life and refreshment, the rivers of life. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for helping us to learn today about the holy city that you have prepared for us as believers. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us to be able to even enter in this special place you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.